Hello everyone, Tommy Knight Eight AFC here, back with another video. Today I'll be doing a review to our two-one win over Villa. Over Villa, as we as we ran out two-one winners at the Emirates. Now, do not let that scoreline deceive you. We should have had five or six. Trust me, we were all over them. We should have. We should have had the game out of sight in the first half, really. But that football and anything can happen. And that. But we played really well with really good character to equalise at at the other end and score. That is what you call a mentality. See, it's all good giving teams drop ins and all that every game. But can you do it when things when you're in a difficult situation and that? The way Premier League most Premier League winning teams win is by basically coming through difficult situations. You have to suffer a bit and we suffered with some really bad refereeing as well. And let me get on to that. The referee was shocking. That equaliser, as much as it was good to that good goal and Douglas Reeve, which we're trying to sign by the way, as I speak, was good to get in from the corner, but that should not have stood at all. If I'm to be honest, Aaron Ramsdale was being grappled. So we suffered at some bad referees and we should have had some penalties, but Looks like we won against the 12 players line. It was 12, it was 11 against 12 it felt at times, but yeah, we, we managed to for once beat, um, the 12th, a team when they, when they got 12 players, so that was all good. And yeah, it was a really comfortable one, watch. In fact, when we were one nil up, it wasn't actually stressful. Let me tell you that for sure. It just wasn't stressful, it was an easy watch. And that. And usually at one nil I'll be stressing, but no, not this time. It was like we were just keeping the ball, trying to get the second. And that knowing that this game wasn't done by just attacking, attacking, attacking. It's so good to see. Me actually putting my head towards the side we're attacking and knowing that all our players is there instead of looking backwards all and all the time because it's a nice change of pace and Arteta has really got this team going and I'm loving the connection that's really formed between the, the, the club and the fans the atmosphere at the Emirates watching it it's like something else. Don't think last season the I think last season the atmosphere at the Emirates was good, but this season in particular there's a vibe around it, like ultras and that. I'm loving seeing it. What the at, actual atmosphere was like. I mean, we, I mean, especially if we keep winning, we have one hell of a team on our hands to enjoy and watch. And let's see the celebration police this time. And we will celebrate when we want. You know. And yeah. I would say Saka and, and then Sambi Congo in particular had a really good game. Replacing for the injured Thomas Partey. I would say Aaron Ramsdale as well. And I love that. Aaron Ramsdale is better than Martinez. What a rival we with the goalkeepers. It shouldn't be. But it, sh but it was a rivalry of the goalkeepers when we seem to meet. And in fact, that's two games where we've met with former Arsenal goalkeepers. Fulham and Villa. So, yeah. And yeah, the... And when it was 1-0 last season, we draw that game. Trust me, our heads would have dropped or even lose. What we did? 
straight on the attack and Martinelli with a beautiful goal. But the first goal was Jesus. Yep, doing the telephone celebration was something else. And yeah, we managed to win even though we suffered at the hands of absolute poor officiating. And that. So yeah, thank you for watching. Hope to see you again soon. The next game we've got needs no introduction. Man United versus Arsenal. A historic rivalry on Sunday is being renewed. We have an abysmal record at Old Trafford. But this is but you've got to feel that this is a different Arsenal team. But I'm not gonna jinx anything. And I've got some bad news that Paul Tierney is the ref. So, just to get that into your head. And let's hope we can get a result. But it will be a brilliant game on Sunday we, we should be watching. And thank you for watching and see you in the next game. In the next video.